I'm at a point where I don't know is the heat making me sweat or is the sambal making me sweat. Chicken is so good though. Very OG taste. You don't even need the sambal on it. The sambal is of a different league. It's not exactly that sweet. It's got a lot of heat. You can taste the that savouriness. You can taste everything. I could just eat this without the chicken. Okay. Good afternoon, people. Today we are in KL. You guys can see uh, from the scenery. This is KL, not Singapore. Previously, I mentioned that there's a KL trip when I was eating the banana. Okay, this is the KL trip. It's a three days trip, very short trip, but we packed fully all three days, okay? Every single day, there's gonna be a food challenge. I've never done a tour like that. Usually, there'll be breaks in between, but this is the first time I'm doing food challenges back to back. We are here at this Nasi Lemak called Nasi Lemak. Bambon. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce it. You guys can correct me. I like it because it's at the back alley. So we hear the moment they are open, okay? 4.30 p.m. Because at night, right? Super, super packed. Packed until it's crazy, lah, okay? But anyways, the nasi lemak here is good. Pretty solid and it's affordable, okay? Locals recommend me here. I had this before, okay? Before I, before I decide to film here. The locals, what they call it is like roofless, one, okay? No roof nasi lemak. It's really subjected to weather conditions on how well we can film today. I'm going to give myself maybe 40 minutes to an hour. We're going to make it quick. Let me see how many plates we can put down. Then we move. Okay, let's go. Okay, look at that. It's really a back alley. Uh. Today, the weather at the moment is still okay. Okay, I hope that the weather holds up, okay? It stays this way. So they have a little nice kitchen here. Uh. They only serve one item, which is nasi lemak. Look at that. I don't know. This, this is another item. <laughs> they, they got Maggi Goreng also. They serve a couple of items now, okay? But the famous thing here is nasi lemak. I ordered 20 plates, right? Because I don't know how many I could put down. Then after that, we see what I can do. So this is it, uh, okay? The last time I was here, right, I thought the serving size is relatively small. But actually, right, this time I will order drumstick for all, right? The drumstick are the things that are big, okay? The rice is okay, normal-ish serving, but the drumsticks are massive. Eh? Look at the size of the drumstick. Freshly fried. This is the place where they, people come in and then they eat, they go. Okay, very fast, like a fast food kind of concept. We're gonna start now, okay? I'm very excited because it's been a while since I last had Nasi lemak, and I am saving all that craving until I'm here in KL, which is the land of Nasi lemak. First bite, let's go. Oh. You guys know what I drew up? I finished one plate first. Oh. That chicken, right? They fry it fresh. So it's still like piping hot. Extra crispy, oh wow. Guys, the sambal is of a different league. It's got heat one. The sambal is it's not exactly that sweet. It's got a lot of heat. And then it's got so much layer though. Every single note of the sambal is being tasted off. You know some sambal you eat is too spicy, some is too sweet. This one you can taste the, the umami, you can taste the spiciness. You can taste the, that savouriness. You can taste everything. And there's onions in the sambal. Oh, this is very good sambal. I could just eat this without the chicken. Mm. The chicken is really fried to perfection. Maybe because it's fresh or so. Outside, right, they added a bunch of like, I don't know, it's ginger or what, like some sort of herbs, barapa, that's what they call it. And then uh, outside, extremely crispy. Inside, it's still very, very moist. Guys, I'm wearing shades uh, because I'm eating outdoor. This is really under the sun. Not because I'm trying to act cool or what. Okay, okay, next bit. Wow, it's so good. I'm only afraid that the sambal will start to hit me later. That was my favorite bite. You add a bit of the, the kacang, the peanut, and add a bit of the sambal with the egg and everything. The main difference that uh, I realized, right, Singapore and Malaysia, the nasi lemak. Malaysia nasi lemak, the rice is a bit more moist, a bit more wet. Uh. I don't know, for me, I'm okay. 
but I know some people would prefer the rice to be grainy one. But I like, I like. And eating at this back alley just hits different. Uh. Oh guys, I need to show you guys the drumsticks is no joke. This one like drumstick challenge more than nasi lemak challenge. <laughs> the drumstick. You go to Pongo nasi lemak, you order this one. Uh. I think $5 the drumstick. It's quite fun, I think. The chicken is so good though. Very OG taste. You don't even need the sambal on it. I'm at a point where I don't know if the heat making me sweat or is the sambal making me sweat. If you guys come here, be prepared to sweat. Because this is like really back alley, not much ventilation. But that's the whole point. You want to enjoy street food, right? You have to put yourself through this. Oh, you tap out or tap out? Nine plates down, we got another six plates in. Slowly, okay? The team also start eating already. Only my producer standing in front of me. <sighs> Thank you, sir. While working through all these plates, right, trying to discern uh, what's the difference between Malaysian sambal and Singapore sambal when it comes to nasi lemak. I have to say it's quite similar. The main difference, right, is Malaysian sambal is more watery. I feel like there's more depth, uh, more ingredient inside. So I, like I said earlier, uh, most of the items are able to taste it, which is good. And then Singapore one is more pasty, uh, like a paste, you know. This one is more watery, look at that. It's like water. Every plate, I'm not going to finish all the sambal, uh, because they give a lot of sambal. Uh, like a bit overwhelming, uh, so I'm just going to use a bit here and there. Lawrence, I'm at where? Number 13 plate or number 14? Uh? 14, right? Okay. Number 14. 14. Still enjoying it, still tasting very good. I'm going to be careful when I'm biting into a drumstick. Very sharp. Uh. So up, so up. Mm. Hey guys, comment down below. I'm just very curious also about you guys. There's a lot of similarities when it comes to Malaysian food and Singapore food. The whole game me. Nasi Loma. When it comes to Chai Kway Teow, right, I prefer the Malaysian style with the pinning style, hands down. Okay, cannot fight on. But Hoki Mi, right, let me know down in the comments. Because the other time when I did the, the Hoki Mi in Singapore, everyone said this is not the right color. But the Malaysian one is black in color, which is very different. Uh. I might slam a challenge when it comes to Hoki Mi, my giant plate or something. I didn't bring my plate here. Uh. So if you can find a giant plate, we might do the Hoki Mi here. I found a local store that's very, very good. Uh, a lot of locals recommend me. I want to try, but comment down below. Uh. When it comes to Hokkien Mi, Cha Kui Tiao, and Nasi Lemak, which is your preference, the Singapore one or the Malaysia ones? And why? For me, it's Hokkien Mi, I still prefer the Singapore one. And the Cha Kui Tiao, I prefer the Malaysia one. Nasi Lemak is still in the Malaysia. <laughs> Singapore's Nasi Lemak, right? It's all derived from Malaysia. Right? Guys, I don't know, is it me? Uh, the, the drumsticks are getting bigger and bigger. I suspect they give me the bigger one. Eh. It's always like that one. Eh. Guys, got the camera. Uh, the thing become bigger. Uh. It's not a bad thing. Uh. It's a good thing that they give me big. <sighs> I'm like racing. Uh, racing against the, the clock. Not the clock, uh, but the, the sunset. Uh. I don't finish before sunset. Uh. If not, you guys will be seeing like dark footages. Uh. Uh, pardon me if the exposure keeps changing. Uh. Back alley, uh, I, cannot, I cannot do anything. Uh. Now five plates. This puts me at 20 plates now. It's time to see weird things happening. Uh. They didn't change the plate color. The egg will change color also. I don't know. From now on, uh, it's not gonna be like relaxed already. Uh. From now on, it's stretched already. Uh. Okay, let's go. Wow. Eat beside the drain is another type of feeling, I swear. You <laughs> haven't paid yet. Uh. So I'm eating all this. They're all standing behind. There's only two scenarios. One is they are cheering for me. The other one is this. They stand by guard there. In case we run. <laughs> I hope it's the first scenario. Uh, I hope they are like viewers of the channel. We want to ask for photos. 
I'm not very well up me or something. So far still okay. Right now the weather is perfect. Uh. You eat nasi lemak. It's evening time, very cooling. And probably that explains their operating hours. Uh. Starting from about 4 all the way until midnight. So this place usually people come in the evening like 7 onwards. I'm the only crazy guy that comes at 4. But now is the perfect time to come. Uh. It's about 5ish. Yeah, five-ish, and then the sun have not set yet, and the crowd is still not that intense yet. So uh, we'll go ahead, finish. I'm still feeling pretty okay. Let's see how to power a few more bowls or not. Okay, so this trip, uh, first day this one. Tomorrow having a mini friendly contest. Invited to do a little contest for charity. So tomorrow we'll be eating like a bunch of Wagyu, like 5 kg worth of Wagyu. Not even sure what's the time limit, but it's for charity, uh, so I'll see if I can push. And then the last day, still trying to figure out what we're gonna film. It might be the Gordon Ramsay pizza place. It might be uh, the Hokkien Me, I don't know. We'll figure out. For now, let's finish this first before it gets any darker. Hey, one, one more plate, one more plate. Uh, you got any special? I don't want chicken. Any. You, chicken any? you still can give me one. Yeah. Like, I don't want chicken. You got rendang or whatever. You got rendang. Uh? You got anything else? I'll get sure chicken. You buy and you can we pay everything now. <laughs> I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay. What plate are you going to place on? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Can I touch you? Whoa. Okay, okay, try the rendang first. He says it's damn good. I have very high standard for rendang. Let's see whether it's good. The rendang, the sauce uh, is very good. Very nice, thick, rich, bit of gaminess. The mutton can be a bit more tender. I find it a bit tough. I wouldn't recommend this. Go for the chicken. But I will still finish the uh. oh, full already, full If I'm gonna convert this to Singapore money, right? Every place is about $2-ish. To me, it's affordable. Right? I think to the locals here, it's considered affordable also. Right? Would I recommend this place? Yes, I would. If I'm in KL, I'll definitely come here. Because it's a very good supper spot. And back alley, right? As a Singaporean, you don't experience this a lot. So definitely recommend this place. Get the chicken one. The chicken is really good. So come here and try. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and end this video. I'm gonna finish up this plate, chill a little bit, go for a walk, maybe swim then uh, get ready for the contest more. Okay, that's it. Before it gets dark, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.